ஜூலை ஃபோர்த் ஃபார் அமெரிக்கா ஆக்சுவலி எஸ்டர்டே வாஸ் ஜூலை ஃபோர்த் ஃபார் இண்டியா பட் எஸ்டர்டே அட் திஸ் டைம் இட் வாஸ் ஜூலை தேர்ட் ஃபார் யூஎஸ் ஸோ டுடே இட் இஸ் ஜூலை ஃபோர்த் ஃபார் யூஎஸ் திஸ் டைம் ஐ எம் பிளஸ்ஸிங் திஸ் கிரேட் கண்ட்ரி and i also want this to be on record it is this country supported our sangha to happen in this scale i wanted to remember this country with all my gratitude it is the giving nature of us and the people who gave from us created our sangha the way it is standing whatever infrastructure we have to reach out to people all the outer world infrastructure i credit it and attribute it to the giving nature of this country us so happy independence day god bless america i'll continue to expand on kata upanishad yesterday i was speaking about the story vajashravas king who is feeling insecure and was asked to do a fire ritual from the vedas but started doing without understanding the context is san nachiketa questions this is the story i'll now try to expand the sacred secrets hidden in this story the first thing king getting into the mental setup of business or bargain shows the identity crisis happened to him please understand king is a person or at least he is expected to be a person he either lives with powerfulness as a giver 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 or collapses and disappears from us please understand king is not expected to be eternal but he is expected to be powerful as long as he is there as king he can't afford to get into the mental setup of a vaishya businessman same way a person of knowledge he is not expected to be a giver nobody expects a person of knowledge to be doing charity but he is expected of a high standard of consciousness highest standard of consciousness he is expected to constantly share the spiritual knowledge live remember share the spiritual knowledge he can't afford to commit even a small mistake king in the war can kill even those few innocent people who are not directly involved in the war he won't incur a big sin because when there is a war naturally there will be innocent deaths 
but a person of knowledge a brahmin cannot kill even an ant even an ant can't be killed by him so from each person the anyakara of society what society expects the role they need to fulfill in the society is different so the identity collapse inauthenticity entering into the identity the identity crisis is what geeta describes as jati nashta intermingling of caste getting impure please understand because the ancient time the jati was based on the mental setup not just based on your birth vishwamitra by jati is a kshatriya but he is always remembered as the highest brahmana he is respected as brahma rishi by vasishta understand each one need to maintain their role here the first miss first step towards the free fall vajashravas getting into the powerlessness and adapting the mental setup of a vaishya businessman instead of his originally expected state of kshatriya if a kshatriya falls from the mental state he is supposed to be he should just die because too many people's expectation is on his shoulder if a shudra collapses it is only going to impact him or maximum his family if a vaishya collapses it is maximum going to affect him or his community means people who are dependent on him for their food people who work under him but if a kshatriya collapses the whole society the whole country is going to collapse he should not be alive if he collapses and adopts the mental setup of businessman if he falls from his state he should not be alive same way a brahmana if he collapses from his space the whole loss of knowledge happens he can't even afford to collapse here the vajashravas has missed the space of kshatriya adopted the mental setup of vaishya give and take because he has collapsed he feels deep insecurity i can say insecurity collapses him collapsing makes him feel insecurity both feed each other the vicious circle one of the worst thing is actually falling is not that was but not standing up is really worse this guy not only fell and did not even bother to diagnose why he is fallen that is why wrong decision see if he was feeling insecure he should not have decided the solution on his own he should have just reached out to his guru you trying to find the solution on your own is almost like trying to take the across the counter medicines oh i have a headache let me go to pharmacy and ask for some headache me- tablet and eat without even diagnosing after 2 years you will realize you have a tumor in the brain 
it is as dangerous as taking across the counter medicine without medical support or without the proper diagnosis this guy does the same messing up he decides on his own what is his problem without looking into the depth see if the guru is not ready to guide or he doesn't have enough listening to ask the guru because no guru will say i am not interested to guide only when they don't have a listening enough listening they say then all right what to do i don't know whether he doesn't have enough listening or he did not even approach a guru he must have had raja guru he has decided on his own the solution for the incompletion he is feeling he diagnosed the problem as maybe i am feeling little insecure i have become old i don't know whether all these pleasures joy everything will come along with me please understand in any field having more than what is required the opulent lifestyle luxurious lifestyle takes away your strength please understand in any field having more than what is required to run your life whether you are a brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra or anything luxury is the sure killer of your power intelligence an ability to reinvent yourself somebody commented when i spoke about poverty in the facebook that i am talking about poverty sitting on the throne golden throne he need to know first of all it is not gold it's gold painted and second traditionally the knowledge the sacred truths i am sharing is respected with this kind of a seat i am not promoting poverty forever i am only saying at least one year because it will rekindle the inspiration to reinvent yourself and i have spent 9 years and reinvented myself and you let me come back to the subject i tell you poverty is not forced upon me either at that time nor now i tell you imposed poverty or minimal living awakens many of your possibilities and capacities to live the life to its peak possibility i tell you self imposed poverty or minimum living the aparigraha lifestyle is the most luxurious thing you can have even now i can comfortably sleep happily on the floor live just few handful of simple vegetarian food nothing else from outside is needed to entertain me excite me keep me alive active my simple breathing is enough for me to enjoy my existence 
and celebrate my being i tell you the lifestyle of aparigraha means living with minimal things is the most luxurious thing you can have because that will constantly keep you active in your peak possibility your body will be active your mind will be active i have seen in very close quarters many sanyasis of different sampradaya different orders of different religions some of the most active powerful sanyasis if i have one more chance i will take up of course i don't have that is different if i have i'll take up my life as a jain monk i tell you the kind of activism active alive they are because of their aparigraha lifestyle even the madhva sampradaya sanyasis many madhva sampradaya sanyasis i have seen in very close quarters the aparigraha lifestyle they maintain and the way they are being active is amazing in my experience these two sampradaya jains and madhva sampradaya swami is live the most active most energetic lifestyle most possible simple living with minimal things here this vajashravas unfortunately punished with so much of luxuries that's the right word i'll use punished with so much of luxuries <laughs> lost the knowledge or sense of how to be alive and active i tell you luxury when it becomes lifestyle kills your possibilities kills your possibilities takes away your inner strength takes away the strength of your body and mind to reinvent itself with the flow of life i have seen even when i am training my sanyasis actually i have all sampradaya sanyasis with me in my order means people who live like jain monks really really austere and people who live much more than a king <laughs> punished with luxury i have all types all variety when i train them i always observe people who are living like jain monks or madhva sanyasis with austerity tapas they are always healthy active alive brilliant powerful don't fall into incompletion even in their day to day life they are very light people they don't get hurt you can't hurt them they are very light people they can run the life anywhere they can accommodate any number of people in their inner space they can work with any number of people but when you are punished with the luxury please understand it's a punishment if you are living a luxurious life for 12 years all your good qualities are killed i am telling you 100% all your good qualities you become such heavy person not only physically even mentally you can't accommodate people in your inner space all possibility for your expansion whether it is your business 
are your career, your profession, your personal life, everything is dead. I can challenge. You can only have more and more divorce, not any more expansion. You can fire your subordinate, you can fire your general manager, you can fire your CEO. You can have only divorces in personal life or professional life. You cannot expand. Or you will be stuck with the same old few fools who can't reinvent themselves. You are stuck with them because of your insecurity, they are stuck with you because of their insecurity. And I also thoroughly studied people who share their wealth, give away. Those people continue to be active. That is why many of the multinational companies encourage their staff to contribute, donate, do charity. They also match up. And the companies which are doing this matching programs, please understand, they are doing good to themselves. They are creating active people as part of their company. I am really telling you, the person who gives up, gives up, gives up, is the most active person. Twelve years, if you are habituated to luxury, even if you are enlightened, you collapse. Please understand. Because you become so rigid, heavy, the possibility of reinventing is completely forgotten. Vajashravas, this fool must have been at least 40-50 years soaked in luxury, soaked in alcohol, once in a while came out only to have women, again went back to that same bottle. The fellow must have lost the originality, ability to reinvent, which is needed for a king. Please understand. Luxury sh can be at the most a rare celebrative occasion, a celebration or which gets added during a festival once in a while. Okay, but if that becomes a lifestyle, you will even lose the basic things required for what you are. I think by now this Vajashrava should have lost all the ability to wage war, take decision, conduct court. Fellow may not even be able to hold the sword up. Because king entering into the Business mental setup means he must have been getting degraded, degraded, degraded for years. It doesn't happen in one moment. Please understand, all collapsing happens through the years, not in one moment or one day or two days. That is why I always tell people, if you just don't miss satsang that is enough, you will be liberated. Nothing else is required because in satsang I will make sure I hit you whether in your pain point or bliss point or some point and I will wake you up at least once in two days and uh, once in week, one of my Swami was complaining. Because of this satsang, we can't even afford to be in depression for more than two, three days. <laughs> How much ever we try, <laughs> we are not even allowed to be in depression. 
understand it's only with a long gap of not being reminded about your identity not being asked to become authentic you collapse unfortunate the vajishravas collapsed otherwise he should not be doing such a cheap thing king when a king not only in a sacrifice or a yagna spiritual or religious ritual even normally when he gives neither his hand nor the receiver's hand should be able to hold what is given that is giving understand giving means a person who gives and person who receives both hand should not be able to hold what is given he is giving king should have been giving in that way that scale actually to be giving you need only one thing powerfulness not any object it's a powerfulness that is required if you see mahabharata karna the greatest giver is only a king of a small kingdom angadesha which may be 100th of duryodhanas or pandavas what pandavas had or duryodhanas had it must have been 100th but why is he able to give 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 he discovered the sacred secret of giving giving keeps you active to make more when you are active and you need to create more you will become more creative to create more creativity is an ending resource opening up an ending resource in your life happens only for a person who gives not for the person who holds the most uncreative people i have ever seen are these wall street fellows yakshas the people of gubera they only know how to hold the most creative people i have seen are who just create something and sell for their life and again was to create something else to live their life those kind of people are the most creative people i have seen in my life i have seen hundreds of different painters sculptors the metal sculptors artists poets only the people who live without accumulating anything their creativity is the peak possible creative expression because they have to survive they open the door of creativity endless resource human being should live exactly like this rich because you touched the endless resource which is creativity rich because you reached the endless resource called creativity not because of remembering the zeros in your bank balance if you feel yourself as a hero because of the zeros you are you have in your bank balance be very clear you are vajashravas 
you are just vajishravas you need nachiketa or you will have yama <laughs> this guy vajishravas because he has been numbed he has become insensitive because of the punishment self punishment of luxury self imposed prison is luxurious lifestyle i tell you best part of my life was when i lived with that self imposed poverty good because of that i am able to continue to have that lifestyle continue to keep that ability alive retain that ability alive my ability to work 20 hours a day i'll attribute it to the lifestyle i developed reinvention i did of myself due to that when during the period of that 9 years of self -impo imposed poverty ability to face a crisis ability to manage a crisis ability to manage a new situation ability to manage a change in the situation all this is lost all this is lost with the continuous luxurious lifestyle please understand if you are rich don't punish yourself with the luxurious lifestyle that's the biggest punishment you will give it for yourself just because you are rich don't destroy yourself even your muscle memory and bio memory once they are accustomed to luxurious lifestyle lose the ability to reinvent themselves lose the ability to be active alive lose the ability to do the crisis management lose the ability to expand i have seen some of the most successful big rich men they keep their personal life away from the wealth they have they have not punished themselves with a the luxurious lifestyle please understand i have seen some of the richest people of the world in very close quarters i tell you from my experience people who have not punished themselves with their wealth people who have not punished themselves with their wealth and luxurious lifestyle only they are able to continue to keep their spontaneity crisis management abilities and creativity alive only their muscle memory and bio memory is active to live run the life expand the kingdom they have built if you want to destroy somebody somehow make them addicted to luxurious lifestyle after that you don't need to do anything they will destroy themselves somehow make the luxurious lifestyle glamorous for them that's the best way you will get rid of your enemies <laughs> any fellow who is caught in the mental setup of the luxurious lifestyle i tell you don't be afraid of him he will be destroyed he will destroy himself don't be afraid of him i wanted to remind this one truth today how you are identity collapses 
when you get out of this aparigraha lifestyle mahadeva in his description of yama niyama please understand from now onwards whenever i talk about yoga whenever i use the word yoga i mean the yoga taught by mahadeva in agamas i have, i am not disrespecting padanjali i have a high regard and respect for padanjali whatever he speaks is directly taught by mahadeva to him but fortunately now we got the original direct words of mahadeva what he taught to patanjali so from now onwards i wanted to put this on record whenever i speak about yoga yama niyama all the technical terms you should adopt the definition given by mahadeva in agamas in agamas mahadeva speaks highly about this aparigraha lifestyle the context of aparigraha the reason to live with minimal things is to keep you alive active to keep your muscle memory and bio memory brilliant bright see the luxurious lifestyle makes you insensitive above all makes you life negative it just makes you life negative it destroys your metabolism it destroys your ability to enjoy finally it destroys your very approach towards life i tell you luxurious fellows are the most frustrated people on the planet earth much of the problem of the developed countries is not depression frustration is one of the biggest problem the developed countries are facing because they have not understood with their own wealth they are torturing themselves having wealth is not wrong but torturing yourself with the luxurious lifestyle is wrong don't punish yourself with the luxurious lifestyle it's a old way of living it is not cool it's not modern it's not fashionable living luxurious lifestyle like kings and queens is the old stupid way of living don't think it is fashionable fashionable cool is living simply understand lifestyle of mahadeva is most fashionable modern and cool lifestyle catch it the modern youth should accept adopt lifestyle of mahadeva cool that should become cool that is cool create when you want celebrate the way you want and don't punish yourself with the luxury that's the biggest punishment you will be giving to yourself why do you want to be a fool don't you see all the kings queens da 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 da, da destroyed themselves come back to lifestyle of mahadeva which is fashionable and cool and i'm really telling you going around with your hormonally imbalanced mental setup picking up on your own a boy or a girl dating 
and then marrying, falling into depression and divorce, all this is old lifestyle. Come back to the fashionable lifestyle of arranged marriage by matured parents. That is the cool trend now. Allow the parents who are very balanced, who can look into your life end to end and pick up a right person for you. That's the most fashionable, modern, cool lifestyle. Forget this stupid old fashion of don't be in 80, 90, Bollywood, Hollywood, Tollywood movie star. And that stupidity is outdated. And all that lifestyle these fools are teaching, running around the same tree and singing duet. And picking up your husband or wife with your own trial and error method of dating, mating. It's stupid. And it's a failure lifestyle. Failure system. It's all over. Come to the matured, most successful style of letting your parents who are cool, balanced, choose the boy or girl for you. That's the most fashionable and modern lifestyle. I'll make all these things into modern and fashion. Understand the essence of today's satsang. Luxury kills you while you are alive. Luxury makes you insensitive and puts you in identity crisis. Luxury is the source of your strong SDHD. Continuous luxurious lifestyle creates deep self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial in you. Not only you develop SDHD, you develop SSDHD, means strong SDHD, is SSDHD. Have wealth, I am not saying don't have wealth, but because you have wealth, you don't need to Abuse yourself with a luxurious lifestyle. You don't have to abuse yourself with a luxurious lifestyle. Remain as simple as possible so that you have the freedom to reinvent yourself. Essence of today's satsang Fellows who run behind the luxurious lifestyle are the most cheap fellows who don't have strength, trust on their own life. Luxury kills even while you are alive. This is the subject for Vakyartha Sadas today. I request all over the world, all the Sangha, temples, ashrams, mats, monasteries, adhinams, centers, to revive the Vakyartha Sadas trend again. Vakyartha Sadas should become popular again. All of you should involve yourself Again in the Vakyartha Sadas. So with this, I move to the next segment of the morning satsang. Bangalore Mahant Atmapurna. Birthday blessings. With all the auspiciousness, you will be with me. I will be with you. Blessings. I already blessed you in the Facebook also. <laughs> blessings to all of you. And blessings to the whole Bangalore Sangha. Blessings.
and Guadalu, Kotari Mireil, Lamoth, Lamoth, birthday blessings. With all the auspiciousness, you will be with me, I will be with you. Be blissful. So, with this, I will move to the next segment of the morning satsang. Today, morning, the inner awakening participants have blindfold reading again. Practice. <laughs> and you guys have a long day today. Let's get ready. I bless you all. Let you all radiate with integrity, authenticity, responsibility, enriching, causing, living Advaita, the eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you. Be blissful. Nityananda Dhyana Peetam, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Phone 080-2727-9999. www.nityananda.org. www.youtube.com slash lifebliss foundation.